hurry in a flurry. I'm Christina and this is Benjamin. <laughs> and today we're going to be playing um, paddle game. <laughs> yeah, it's called, um, I don't know, ping pong keepy ups. Yeah. Um, yeah. So what we have to do is we have to try and bounce the ping pong ball on the paddle like that, like what Benjamin is doing. And, you have to do the flips um, though. Yeah. Uh, I lost it. Um, and whoever drops it first loses. This so is... why don't we start? All right. Here we go, Three, kids. Three, two, two, one. Here we go. Oh, you're already wobbling there, Christina. Okay. Look at this, guys. I'm Any just going for the strat. Small bounces. You ready? Oh, flippies. 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 Oh my gosh. Wow, this is very good, Christina. This is better than your last time. Oh, and she oh. drops it. Oh, Winner. Yes. Good job to you guys if you beat me. Yeah. All right, have a go at home for yourselves. Yeah. Thank you for participating. Um, bye, kids. We'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, kids. My name's Tom, Pastor Tom, some people call me. And I'm so excited to be with you. I'm normally talking to adults, but to get to talk with kids is so much fun. I love kids. And um, I've got my kid's Bible here. Maybe you've got one that looks a bit like this or something different. And uh, I'm gonna read a story. And the story is called The Lost Son. That doesn't sound great, does it? I wonder if you've ever been lost and, and not known your way back. Maybe to mum or dad or to somebody else. It's not a very good feeling, is it? So we're going to read about this lost son and we're going to see what happens in the story. There was once a man who had two sons, said Jesus. The younger son wasn't happy at home and he dreamed of an exciting life far away. He decided to leave home. So he went to his dad and said, I know part of all your land is mine. I'd love you to pay me for my share of it. The father gave the son what he wanted, and he took it and went away. He was happy for a bit. He did whatever he wanted to do. He went where he wanted to go. He bought whatever he wanted to buy. But soon all the money was gone. He didn't even have enough money to buy food. So he got a job feeding pigs. He was sad and wanted to go home, and he was afraid. Maybe his father wouldn't like him anymore. But he began the long trip home. At least he could be a servant instead of a son. His father saw him coming and ran to meet him. He hugged and kissed him. Let's have a party, he said. My son was lost, but is now found. God is like this father. He is full of joy when someone decides to obey him. See, God is like a father who Maybe a child has wandered off. When that child comes back, God is so happy. His heart is full because God loves that child. God loves every child. He loves you. He loves me. And God loves it when we come to him. See, when we live our life not praying, maybe not trying to connect with God, we can become lost. But God loves it when we say, I want to come back to you. And that's something that each one of us can do today. The son that was lost in this story, he was afraid because he didn't know that his father still loved him. But the truth from the story of the Bible is that God still loved that lost son very, very much. And he was willing to forgive him. And for us that have known God and we know that God loves us, we can also model the heart that God has for this lost son to other people. Maybe there's other people that we can forgive. Maybe they seem lost, but we can tell them it's okay, we forgive them, and we can have a friendship with them again. So why don't we pray together as we finish this story? Jesus, thank you for showing us how much God loves us. And we pray you would help us love other people with the love God has for each one of us. Amen. Hey, God bless you kids. So fun being with you today. I can't wait to see you soon. Hey kids, Jesus loves each and every one of you so, so much. And you can make him the king of your heart today so you can love just like he does. And what I'd love to do now is invite you to follow Jesus because he's waiting for you with open arms. So right now we're gonna pray and if you wanna take that step of faith to follow God and put your trust in him, then this is a great moment for you. 
So if you'd like to say yes to Jesus, why don't you pray this prayer with me? You can close your eyes, bow your heads, and feel free to repeat these words after me. Dear God, thank you that you love me. Thank you that you died for me. I know I don't always do the right thing, but I thank you that you forgive me. I ask you to live in my heart so I can live in your kingdom forever. Amen. Well, kids, if that was you who made that decision, we are so, so excited that you took that step of faith and made the decision to follow God. Why don't you tell a parent or a friend so that they can celebrate with you? And you can also follow the instructions on the screen to let us know as well. As you go into your week, just remember that Jesus loves you, we're praying for you, and he's with you no matter where you are. We'll see you next time, kids. Bye. Hey kids, let's look at our memory verse for today. Today's memory verse is Luke chapter 10 verse 27. Let's read it together. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and love your neighbor as yourself. Luke chapter 10 verse 27. Now, why don't we read that out loud together? Kids, I want to hear nice, big, loud voices. Let's read it. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and love your neighbor as yourself. Luke chapter 10 verse 27. Awesome! Well done, kids! Here's our challenge for you this week. Why don't you practice saying that out loud over and over again? And if you want an extra challenge, why don't you try to remember it without reading it from your Bible? Have fun, kids! Hi guys, why don't you stand up, let's praise and worship together. You can sing, you can dance, you can clap, let's have some fun.
Let's go.